So what is apolipoprotein B and why is it a biomarker that you should know more about? I'm Michelle Darian and I'm a registered dietitian at Inside Tracker. So ApoB is the main protein found on all low density lipoproteins or LDL cholesterol particles. So apolipoprotein B is responsible for carrying cholesterol throughout your body, but then also clearing it from your body. And some cholesterol is good because you do need cholesterol for um, producing hormones, for cellular health, and a couple of other processes. But you don't want to have too much cholesterol. Um, so when you have too much cholesterol, what it does is it gets deposited into your arteries um, and then that can lead to plaque buildup. So if you think about your arteries like this and you have blood flowing right through them, um, when you have plaque buildup on your arteries, they start to constrict because you have plaque buildup um, that's basically constricting your arteries and that can restrict some of your blood flow um, through your body, which you don't want. And heart disease is something that you definitely want to address as it's the number one cause of death in the United States currently. So here's where ApoB comes in. So LDL can't actually pass into your arteries without it being attached to ApoB. And again, ApoB is responsible for carrying and also clearing cholesterol from the body. And that said, every atherogenic particle actually has a one-to-one -one ratio with an ApoB particle. So for every one atherogenic particle, um, it has one ApoB particle. Here are three reasons why you should measure your apolipoprotein B levels. Number one, you should test your apolipoprotein B or ApoB because it's a direct measure of all of your atherogenic particles. Number two, you should measure your ApoB levels because it's currently the best marker of your heart health status and heart disease risk. And we know that heart disease is the current leading cause of death in the United States. So it's important to be able to get ahead of. And number three, you should measure your ApoB levels because knowing your levels means you can take action. Let's walk through four things that you can do if your ApoB levels come back high on a blood test. So the first thing that you should do if your ApoB levels come back high on a blood test is to reduce the amount of saturated fat that you're consuming. So saturated fat is found in certain foods like red meat, processed meat, butter, coconut oil. Um, so reducing some of those can help to also effectively reduce your ApoB level. Number two, if your ApoB levels come back high, I would also recommend increasing the amount of healthy fats that you have in your diet. So other healthy fats would be polyunsaturated fats and monounsaturated fats, um, which are typically found in olive oil, avocados, flax, and nuts and seeds. The third thing that I'd recommend that you do if your ApoB levels come back high is to increase the amount of fiber that you're consuming. So soluble fiber, specifically beta-glucan, is super important for being able to control cholesterol levels, which can also impact your ApoB levels. Some good food sources of soluble fiber are beans and oatmeal. And if your ApoB levels still come back elevated, even though you feel like you're doing some of those dietary um, interventions already, the next thing I would recommend is a supplement. So a few different supplements have some good benefits on ApoB levels. A few of them are plant sterols, psyllium husk, artichoke extract supplements, and maybe even spirulina. All right, here are three reasons why you should measure your ApoB with Inside Tracker. Number one, Inside Tracker gives you personalized biomarker optimal zones. So when you get your ApoB levels back, they'll be compared to either your optimal zone, so where you should ideally be for you based on all of your unique inputs, um, or they can be categorized as normal, so which means that's slightly elevated, um, but not totally at risk yet, or if they're high and you should consult with your physician. Number two, you'll receive a personalized biomarker analysis with, along with recommendations. So not only will you know what your ApoB levels are, but you'll know exactly what you should implement to start to improve them. And number three, with Inside Tracker, you can track your trends over time. It's really important to know what your baseline level of ApoB is, but it's also really important to see how your different lifestyle habits and shifts are starting to impact that level.